Welcome back to Hoochos. Today on Hoochos, I'm releasing a brand new 3D print, one that you didn't even know that you needed, but once you use it, you'll wonder how you ever lived without it. I'll also be showing you an upcoming pre-release 3D print that I need some feedback on. I've been working on it for Ever. It is a 3D printable bell siphon, a print in one piece bell siphon, and I'm engaging the aquaponics community here because I want to find out practical applications and such. So if you're part of the aquaponics community, skip forward to that if you get bored at any point through this video. I'm going to be showing you what's going on around here because it seems like the videos are coming out at a glacial pace, I know, but I've been working on some content that's just been taking so much longer than I thought it would. And I guarantee you there are some gems coming in the not too distant future. So let me show you what's been going on. It's been taking up so much of my time. In here, I'll give you a small peek. I have plant cell tissue culture samples and I've built this entire lab to enable me to bring you plant cell tissue culture content. In fact, over on my second channel, shameless plug, I built this laminar flow hood as well as a few days ago, I released a video on how to create macro time lapses to time lapse plant cell tissue culture, callus growth and formation. One of the things that I didn't expect is that it is a very time consuming process. It takes a long time to take plants from a state of in vitro to where you have a viable plant that can be acclimatized. And I wanna take you on that full journey in one introductory video. I've actually been working with Law from Plants in Jars, who is the reason that I was introduced to this subject because of one of her fantastic videos. And I am very excited to bring you this content, obviously. <laughs> Okay, so I've got a couple of 3D printable designs for you today. This is one that I've been working on for some time. It is a 3D printable bell siphon with integrated snorkel and an integrated bulkhead fitting as well. This is a prototype and there is more work to be done to it. However, I have made it available to my pre-release patrons purely for the fact that As I'm gonna demonstrate here, it works. <laughs> so we can see the outlet here. Internally, we should start to see our siphon fill. There we go. And there's our siphon. And it's coming out the base here. And that should drain our bucket entirely, even with our hose filling it up at the same time. The siphon itself should have a greater flow rate than the inlet hose. You can see the siphon working on the top through the clear window. And that will drain completely all the way down until on this side over here, our snorkel should break the siphon. And you'll see that happen once the water level goes below the snorkel on the side. The air will travel up the siphon and break it like so. As you can see, our siphon is broken and our bucket or grow bed is allowed to fill, initiating the process again and causing the bucket or the grow bed to flood and drain. So I'm gonna give a shout out to Rob Bob because when I needed advice, I got on the phone and I gave him a call and he gave me some invaluable information about the design and specifically some of the requirements of the snorkel. And no small amount of inspiration came from Rigolo Farms videos, but I wanted to take the idea of a 3D printable bell siphon and make it into a single piece print with no supports and an integrated bulkhead fitting. This is an all-in-one print, and I want to incorporate into the file a shroud. This print fits within the shroud enclosure, like so. However, here is where I need 
your input. I am going to make multiple versions of this 3D printable bell siphon and I need to know the heights that you require as well as any features that you'd like that I haven't thought about already. This includes versions of outlets, this includes flow rates that you require, anything that you can think of please let me know in the comments below what would be useful to you so that I can release multiple versions for multiple people's applications. I'm going to have different shroud heights and different bell siphon drain heights. I will decide based on the feedback that I get in this video. Now for those pre-release patrons that will have access to this immediately, to seal the bell siphon because your print settings may not be airtight, I've been using this. This is a gloss clear spray and it seals the outside of the bell siphon so that the siphon doesn't break due to air entering in through the print. I had actually tried utilizing a rubber leak seal, but I'm not happy with the finish that it gives and also says on the instructions not to use in a submerged fashion, so I'm not sure that I trust it. Any feedback that you have would be fantastic so that I can start planning the release of this device for the not too distant future. So a 3D print that I will be releasing today is this. Now I'm quite proud of this. This is one of those designs that you didn't know that you needed until you've got it. And once you've got it, you just don't know how you ever lived without it. This is just a bulkhead fitting that allows you to fit a quick connect fitting over the top and seal with silicon around the base in a small channel. This will allow us to utilize any container for a reservoir in a manner that is simple, requiring a single hole be drilled and easy to connect and disconnect. So let's put it into practice. Okay, so here I have the 3D print, which I set up yesterday by spraying with gloss clear spray paint. And this is going to seal the print internally. So I sprayed down the middle of the print as well as spraying it externally. And we can add it into a small reservoir and test out how the print works. For this, we'll be utilizing silicon to seal around the base of the print, a Christmas tree bit that is an identical size to our 3D print. So that's 20 mils. And these, these are just click connect, O-rings, they're cheaply available online and it just means that I don't have to steal O-rings off all of my tap fittings. That will just fit over the top of our 3D print, like so. That is what seals the Quick Connect. So here we have a Quick Connect hose attachment and our 3D print will just click on like so and allow and allow us to connect up a hose attachment. Super simple stuff here. To add it into any reservoir, all you have to do is drill a hole. The size of the fitting. Make sure the fitting sits comfortably like that. Internally, the fitting looks like this. And to seal it, I've added in this channel that you can fill with silicon and will seal tight around the fitting once you do up the screw on the end. So all I need to do is put a bead of silicon around our fitting and that will seal against the internal side of the reservoir when I add on my nut. You can see how the silicon has sealed around the nut internally. I've designed two versions of this. I've designed one where the print settings are extremely tight because I know some of you have your print settings absolutely immaculate. And I've designed one where the print settings are quite loose. I'll give them more tolerance to the screw so that if you haven't got your print settings perfect, you can switch to the looser version and it will still allow you to screw the thread. Some people have been giving me feedback that 
the threads are too tight, which is fine. Everyone has their print settings different. If one doesn't work, it's 20 grams worth of filament. For some perspective, if you're getting your filament for $20 a kilo, it's 40 cents. <laughs> So right here we have the multi-purpose bulkhead that you didn't know you needed and I guarantee you won't be able to live without from now on. So a massive shout out to my Patreons. Without you guys, all of this content would not be possible. It may be surprising, but the majority of my income comes from Patreon and that income allows me to focus heavily on the designing of new and improved hydroponic systems, 3D printable and DIY, and it allows me to focus on producing quality content over quantity of content. So if you'd like to see the highest quality content possible, consider supporting me over on Patreon. I really do appreciate it. And over on Patreon is where you can find all of the 3D prints that I've released today. If you like this video, I've got plenty more update videos that you can check out where I've been developing hydroponic systems and troubleshooting with 3D prints, which I'll link at the end of this video. And I wish you a very happy hydroponicking. I will see you next time on Hoochos.